Um, Kendrick. Another goat. Kendrick. Fucking, I don't know whatever his middle name is, Lamar. I hear, I, I see you guys hating when, when the pop ups was Kendrick was dropping. I see keeps it, man, like keeps it solid. Yo, not really feeling Kendrick like that. I don't know. Everybody going crazy when Kendrick drop. I'm not really one of those guys. Uh, I see Rob Boy Ninja added to, yeah, I'm not one of those guys either. I don't know why these guys go crazy over Kendrick. And then Kendrick dropped this fire. Do you know what it is? I feel like sometimes he might go to, like, people don't want all of that in their music. Like, mm-hmm. there's so many layers in those fucking tunes. And, like, the music backdrops are just so fucking, like, just beautiful shit. You know what I'm saying? We were like, yo, I just want to hear some trap. That's too much. It's, it make, it's, it... you think Kendrick takes his time when he's making not just a song, but an album. Mm. And like, no disrespect, to, not, not to interrupt you, no disrespect to the people who are hating on his music. But I feel like... They, he kind of makes you examine yourself, fam. And not everybody's willing to do that, fam. Now, uh, you want to hear music just that. Some people just want to hear music to have fun. Yeah. You don't really want to like, because with Kendrick, you re- just like you said, you have to break down some of his songs, right? So when you're breaking down some of his songs, it, it, it'll really make you check yourself. It'll be like, holy fuck, <sighs> fam. I just wanted to listen to this song to just like, to, just to enjoy myself or whatever. And it became a thing where it's just like, holy fam, I might have some issues with my pops or. Yeah, why you know, don't I just I have to, a revelation? Yeah, I need to talk to you. You know, maybe maybe me and my girl need to break up or something because it's not right. Or it's just, I don't know, man. But yeah, Ke- Kendrick Lamar dropped uh, Mr. Mor- what? Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Mm. Um, two projects, 18 songs all together, nine, nine each. Ah, fam. Like, I, I can't cap. I didn't finish the second one yet. I can't. The only one I've listened to from the second one is Count Me Out and the same one from Kodak because that was actually the first song I heard was a song from Kodak. Right. I actually heard that like a couple of weeks ago. It was a leak that I, that I got from my leakers. But um, the first the first set of songs from the first nine, bro, this shit. Friday, uh, Friday's like, yo, you wanted to live in the moment, guys. It's not a classic just yet. Just wait. Let it, let it live. This shit is a classic. To me, personally, this is his second best. I, I, nothing, a, nothing to me tops good kid Mad City. Like that, that leaves uh, like RP Redway. I remember mm. going OT and Redway telling me, yo, fam, you haven't heard that Kendrick yet, fam. You're you're tripping, fam. And, and forever that will always stick in my heart. But like, this is number two for me, bro. It's right there. I'm I'm not gonna give it the classic card yet, but I will give it the flawless card. Mm. Right? Like, explain, explain. Like, there's not one song like I got to all the way to the end. Okay. okay on both. On both. And I'm already on repeat. Jeez. I'm on repeat. Like, I think I'm on my third repeat now. I'm on, I'm on like a couple of repeats for the first one though. I'm not going to lie. I've listened to the first one over and over. There's not one song where I'm like, there's something wrong with this song. Because even if you're not into him doing some super rapidy rap shit, like then the beats is going to be crazy for you. There's like every song has something in it. Where there's like, f- like like food, fam. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like I can't not like the song because I'm like, well, what do you mean? Like the lyrics are f- are fucking hard. Like it's telling me about some shit. The beat is different. Like every song is good, fam. Yeah, like man. great, great. That I think that's what it is too. Like there's no to me, there's no misses. Say me. Can can you pull up Die Hard? Mm. Because Die Hard is a song to me. I feel like this song is gonna live forever. I just hate being. One of those people who are like Kendrick, 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 because I understand. I it sounds it it gets annoying when people are just so dick ridey. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it I comes to, but like it's when fucking great good. Great. Yeah, when great when people take their time to make great music, fam, you have to appreciate it. And we don't get that with this era, bro. There's a lot of music that just comes out because it's just like, and that makes it watered down, regardless of how you want to look at it. Yes, yeah. yeah, someone so you you got you might get a one two really good songs. But we don't get timeless music like that anymore because everybody's just trying to go, 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 get it while it's hot. So, um, what was the song? Die Hard, Die number hard. four after the first one. Marie. Yeah, like, see, oh, okay, let me stop you right there. Like, this is not even fair, fam, because after he gets super brainiac on you and gives you all this fucking, oh, well, he's just a rapid, I can't do all that. Okay, well, then what about this that you're going to play at the fucking kickback? Right? You know you're going to play it. It's going to sound good. Feel good song. Like, it's that summer. Yeah. This one is the summer anthem to be found. You're like, oh, he could do that? Yeah. He could do whatever. <laughs> it, 
this. Woo! Vibes. Vibes. Kendrick D Riders over here. The Toronto Kendrick Dick Riders. Yo, Drizzy, I fuck with you heavy, fam. No, we're going to get into that topic just now. We're going to get into that, that whole topic. <laughs> I just got to let that out, okay? <laughs> I hope that that's all right. Ah! Well, that's when you take out your data. I hope you see me. They're going to be playing this in church on Sundays. Oh, is that feel good shit? And then when Kendrick drops on it too, he he gives you that. Oh, that's that double Dutch. You get ready to jump in. Jeez, that boy a goat, fam. Problem, fam. Hold on, I, I got one more after this one. We we cried together. Oh fuck. Fam, problem like that's a standout. When you can do songs like this, I put you in a different level of rap. Like not a lot of people can do like a storytelling or a back and forth. It's like it's genius. This is this is hard shit to do, fam. Rappers think about doing songs like this all the time, but can't pull it off correctly. I'm gonna tell you about a jewel that he did with this after. Mm. Sorry, YouTube, SoundCloud, you know what up. Just all the audio, you know what up. Think about the audio members, by the way. Oh, this, this Yo, fab. Yo, here's the jewel. That is a homage to the RZA, a.k.a. Bobby Digital. Okay. He's one of the first guys to do one of those. He's the first one, in my opinion, to do that argument song. Yeah. And like they were even like doing fuck you, fuck you back and forward. But the next song right after is Purple um, Purple Hearts featuring Ghost Face, Face Killer. Killer. Yeah, yeah. And Summer Walker. Ooh. Mm, smart. That boy, that boy Kendrick, different, bruh. That boy Kendrick, different, bruh. So we were having a conversation behind the scenes. <laughs> I feel like I already know what this conversation is about. <laughs> so when, when this shit dropped, I was listening to and and to to uh big up um extra gravy podcast uh Marlon he put on the listening party that you went to mm. the Kendrick Lamar listening party how before we get into that actually no how was the vibe with to that really quick how was the vibe how was the vibe it was different because they were doing um a silent listening party oh, okay that was your first silent listening party yeah but I don't think it turned out too well like they ended up playing it on the speaker anyway oh okay 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 but in the beginning the first two tunes like people were just listening in the headphones mm. and I, I have the, the vlog of it up on the channel okay, okay. so you got to see people like kind of just individually like vibing out to the how yeah, they feel? yeah. Their, their, their first reaction to the first tune and stuff like that but I was like nah I need to listen to Kendrick by myself because uh, I might want to cry or some shit I yeah yeah <laughs> So that that's how I was. Like I can't remember what I was doing, but like Friday, I, I can't remember. But like I, I just wrote up a blunt. I listened to like the first couple of songs, I, and I messaged Friday, and I was just like, "Yo, this is why my boy retired, fam. This is why J Cole said he's done doing music, bro. He must have somebody must have leaked this shit to him, and he was like, "Nah, this is next level shit, bro." And it goes into the question that everybody always goes like to the the goats. Who's better, Kendrick and Drake? And we were having a... I, I was like, yo, fam, if I was Drake, I'd, fuck, I'd be in the studio right now, fam. I'd be like, yo, fuck, this guy. But I think Kendrick said something in in this, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the songs that explains Drake and him very, very well. Well, he didn't say it about Drake. He said something about he ain't doing music to, like, please people. So the music you're going to get is the music you're going to get from him. Where I feel like Drake, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Drake is in that bar where he's just like he's people love him so much from being on the grassy. He does movies and everything. I feel like he's. I don't know if I'm him. I'm speaking for him. Mm. He might be in a pocket where he's just like you are making music to please people. It's a people pleaser, pleaser. Yeah, and but but that might end up hurting you because then you don't really make the music that you want to make or that possibly that. You can make and you know like, yo, I, I can make some greatness. 
But, you know, I might have to water down my music because people might not understand it. My core audience might not understand if I do something like Kendrick does, fam. His core audience might be like, what the fuck? Why are you talking about all this shit all of a sudden? Yeah, like it might be like totally like, nah, fam, we don't want to hear. Where's where's the singing? Where's the love? Where We don't want to hear you, your, your, your struggle so much. Mm. We, you know, like we, we want that boy. Like you're, you're our guy, you know, you're our spokesman for just happiness and your positivity and shit yeah. like that. And it puts him in a different bracket, fam. Whereas yeah. Kendrick, I don't think people, people go into Kendrick like, all right, we don't know what we're going to expect. And yeah, that's, you know, like whatever's whatever. And we're cool with it. Yeah. I feel like low key sometimes, and don't get me wrong. Drake's in a great position. He's, he's not no less the guy, but when he sees Kendrick, they might feel like, fuck, I wish I could just have be that free. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I could just say whatever the fuck I want. Um, I could take my time because Drake has this expectation. He has to drop every year. You know what I'm saying? And maybe something he put on himself. Over the years, there were like people expect him every year. So like you don't even get the chance to like dig in and and live life. And you know, the man said he had writer's block for two years, fam. Mm -hmm. But we waited. And look what we got from it though. But Drake doesn't get the same grace as, as Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? Even Cole gets more grace than than fucking than Drake. Cause we can wait a couple, maybe three years for for Cole and he'll still go top um 10 on the billboard when he finally comes back. But this is why I think we have to stop putting people in these categories of goat talks and, and shit like that, right? Mm. People are just in different categories, fam. Yeah. Kendrick's a man, like, he can drop in the next, like, we probably won't hear an album for Kendrick in the next 10 years. We shouldn't. With the amount of <laughs> information he gave like, us and just everything, like, you'd be, I'd be surprised if he had that much in him just to go right away again. Like, fam, like, you just fucking spilled your whole soul out on that shit, fam. Where I don't feel like Drake does the same. And that too, spilling the whole soul out. Like, I know, I, I think Drake, said it in one of his talks too like yo you know i give you guys this is that the third and blah 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 but it's like it's not the same mm. there's songs where kendrick's talking about like his uncle possibly being a molested or his family thinking his uncle molested him there's songs where he's talking about cheating on his fucking girl there's songs where he's talking about fucking a white girl first time i fucked a white bitch with da 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 and i was 16 second time i fucked a white bitch like who the fuck is going to get on a song and talk about the first time they fucked a white girl that's wild, fam. And he 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 went into detail about how like she was um her her dad was a cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> you know, fucking. Uh, he, he locked up uh, he locked up his uncle. So the next time he smashed one was at Rolling Loud, and his girl asked, "What's wrong with him?" He's like, "Yo, fuck, it's like revenge." <laughs> it's like, whoa, bro, like how would how would my nigga, ancestors fam. look at me? Look at uh, fucking his wife, bitch, <laughs> yeah. and shit like that. Like it's the. It's just different, fam. And, yeah. and there's there's two different people. There's a man that's in the spotlight every day, and he he's asked for that. Like mm. you know what I'm saying? He he's kind of taking that role of being in the spotlight, where you got a guy like Kendrick that has experienced, and who knows, Drake has probably experienced way worse shit than Kendrick. He just doesn't want to talk about it. So that, that's gonna that's the common gang. Kill you for that one, but yeah, it, it's possibly. possible, fam. We can't sit down here and we say that know. every no, fam. We can't sit down here and say that every fucking American <laughs> has lived a, a worse life than every yeah. fucking Canadian. No, the American comments are gonna be like, "Yeah, fucking right." What, fam? We were the first people with Metro <laughs> Housing. Remember that shit, eh? True. Just remember that shit. <laughs> Regent Park. Go back. Do your fucking research. We were the first ghetto. We were the first. Yeah, ghetto. I'll just leave it as that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just think that when you. As an artist, when you're able to just open up, fam, I, I just think you're able to just, you can do anything, bro, when you're just able to just be free. And yeah. I think as free as Drake is, he still held back from the industry. And yeah. I think when you when you take that, and I know Drake can say fuck the industry at any point because he has enough money. But I think when you think about endorsements and, and sponsors and all the deals that he has. He has certain things he has to do. He has to, he, he kind of got to play ball to a, to a point, right? Yeah. But like when it comes to music, man, I just think we have to stop comparing them. I think Kendrick is just on a different level mind state and Drake isn't, or not that he's, they're just on two different levels mind state. Not that Drake isn't. They're just two on two different levels, mind state wise. So their music is always going to be completely different. Mm -hmm. What we're going to get from Drake is never going to be the same thing. What we get from Kendrick, same thing. Kendrick is not going to see the same thing we get from Drake. So we just have to put it like, yo, are they making good music in general? Not are they making good music against each other? Who's is better or whatever? Yeah, who's yeah. is better? Because 
I can't lie. If you're comparing CLB to this, it's not fair. Yeah. It, it's just not fair. But if I want to say if we're comparing CLB to what was Drake's last Scorpion. Well, Scorpion was way better. Scorpion was way better. Yeah. Like to, to, to us, in our opinion, Scorpion's body of work was better. I think we need to stop comparing the two. Same thing with J. Cole. And two, yeah, J. Cole was, was uh, oh, uh, he, what is it? He's, oh, no. J. Cole's overrated, guys. You, you don't think he's in the top three? J, we got to stop doing that whole J. Cole's in the top three, fam. He probably has maybe one classic album. Maybe. Which one did you say that? With the Forest Hill Drive, right? The Forest Hill Drive. And, and now taking that back, I think this one, the, the recent one where he's really rapidly rap, mm-hmm. that one might have been better. Forest Hill Drive still had a lot of duds, fam. He, it took him a really a, a long time to get in it. Yo, J. Cole put out Mr. Nice Watch. Yeah. It's hard to put him hey, in the conversation. Nice Watch. <laughs> yeah. Like, I understand where you're coming from. We had this conversation behind the scenes, but like, when you have that many misses, how are you considered one of the top three? Yeah, you can't be put up there, fam. We got to put somebody else in that top three category. Yeah. Like uh, your first, your whole first part of your career, it was, was like, missed. whoa. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I know that's right. It's true. Oh, my God. I was like, that's, that's when I first song. heard that. I was like, I don't want to listen to this guy. But when I first heard Kendrick, I was like, holy shit. You know what I'm fam, saying? The first time I heard Kendrick, I was playing GTA, fam, and the, that ADHD song. Mm. Mm-hmm. But that, uh, and I'm just like, yo, who is this guy, bro? And and I'm saying this as a J. Cole fan. Like, I listen to J. Cole's albums when they drop. You know what I'm saying? After I got over that first, mm, I don't like this guy's style. But after a while, when he started getting into his own bag, I was like, this guy's the fucking truth. Nobody perfect. But, like, I hear what you're saying about top three. Like, nobody's perfect, but perfect for me. Yeah, he's not. Uh, sorry, Cole, man. You're dope artist, though. Like, yeah. after a while, when he started getting into his Dreamville bag, he, he really became into himself. But, like, we got to stop putting him at the top with those guys. Bro. I think it's because they all came out around the same time. Yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? So people just, they, they, they're just married to that concept that that's the three-headed monster. But with that being said, Gutsy Guts, if J. Cole is not one of the three-headed monsters in this, the J. Cole... Remember Biggie, Jay Z, and Nas, Cole, Kendrick, or uh, or Drake. Then who is if you take Cole out? Do me a Google search on who came out around those times. What would you say, two thousand ten? Yeah, two thousand ten artists that came out with projects around two thousand ten. Fuck, who would you put in that? I was going to put 2000 and Because off the top of my head, but I think he's just after more. Yeah, he's way after. I was going to put Uzi in there, but I know Uzi's way after. What am I thinking? Wale came in in that class too. Um, like if you're going to call it a class. I put Wale in there over, over, over Cole, fam. Oof, oh, come on. Now you're, now you're just being... No, angry. fam. <laughs> Let's be real, fam. <laughs> Wale had a lot more hits than fucking Cole did though, bro. What are we talking about? I definitely put Wale over Cole, fam. The in the industry doesn't like Wale. Wale is it is that arrogant fucking Virgo shit. I'm trying to see who else came out around that time. Um, I would say f- maybe the future come out around that time, Mm-mm. or was he like later? A couple of years later. I want to say he's a couple of years later. Um, Migos maybe. Migos, Migos is maybe like a couple. They of years. were a few years later, but we can't we can't put Cole in there. Fuck, I don't know. I'm trying to look up. T- okay, top 40 hip hop albums 2010. What do I see here? Let me see this. Uh, there's a lot of old people that came out around those times. Kanye West. Yeah, and I'm thinking like Ross was hot those times. Ross was super hot in them times. That's when the the um the Damian Marley and Nas dropped. Um, fuck. It might be just by default that. You know what I mean? That like, cause he came in through. He was the best of that class at the time. Fam, you gotta give it to Wale then, fam. You can give it to Wale. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, you can give it to Wale. I, I, maybe Kid Cudi came around around the same time, but like, I'm not giving him in the rap category. You know, spit bars. Fam, you gotta give it to Wale, fam. 
and say, you could give it to Wale. No, fam, let's be if real. If that's like, my only choice, and no disrespect to Wale if you ever hear this, then I'm going to stay with Cole because I still listen to Cole. I've never listened to a Wale album. I've listened to a one to Wale album. I can't even cap. He has fire. What? Especially when he's going to the gal them? What? YG came out around that time. Like, he's yeah, not going to be think, the three-headed monster. Fam, fam, I don't think there was a three-headed monster in that era, fam. I really think it was just Drake and Kendrick. These so two, you said we made it too many heads? <laughs> yeah, we made it too, because think about it like that too, fam. Nobody really came out and had a group or a label. Like, it was Drake and OVO. It was TDE and fucking Kendrick. There is no, even like, you know, even though OVO didn't have like as big artists, fuck, you might have to put The weekend in there, my guy. Yeah, but I'm saying like. Oh, hip hop, hip hop. They're, rap. Not ra- they're, ra- they're not rapping. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. else, like this is like 2010. Like this is like the changing of the guard times too, right? So even if off top, I think who was popular, there's still like a lot of people who were. Like Wiz was still bumping those yeah. times and shit like that. That's what I'm saying, fam. Really? And Wiz was like, what? Is he like a couple years before that? couple of years before that as well because that's when i started listening to his yeah. 2010 when he did like the t- taylor alternates and shit okay and let's say even wiz is the exact same class he's in a class of his own because he has his huge fan base or whatever i still can't put him in a three-headed monster category because he's not spitting on the level of kendrick and drake no he's not doing that you know what i mean like he can rap well and his songs are great but them niggas do another thing when it comes to that fucking but pen. What, but that's what I'm saying. Like, we can't even... The comparison of music, because music changed at that time, too. It went so drill, and, like, the South, and the Migo South started taking over that, mm. like, fam. I really think we have to, like... We have to give Drake and Kendrick their flowers, bro. Yeah. They put out some really amazing music in the last 10, whatever, how many years, bro? I'm still... I, I still think Cole is a major figure. And... Listen, you can't do that. This is just for argument's sake. In my opinion, Friday Ricky Dredd's opinion, Cole is still one of the top three in that three category. But I understand the argument because of those so many duds in the beginning, fam. Like that first album was a whole dub, fam. I'm yeah. sorry, fam. No, bro. Like, like there was, I, I can't even think of a song that I could say, at least I'll give it that one. We got a good thing. Girl, I'm going to be your man. That was Okay. That song is shit. I like I like the one with Trey songs way better. Oh, I hate that song. That so song is bad, way better. Fam. Fam. We're running that at the end of my this is my show. We're like, running that at the end of the show. It makes me want to like take him out of the top three because you keep on reminding me of how bad that song I said, is. I heard you got a main chick. Right. I'm just said some house. <laughs> like, okay. Don't get me wrong. Every well, with the exception of Kendrick. <laughs> so I'm trying to find some bad songs from Kendrick, but Drake has some songs that are not my favorite neither, but they're not some of his first ones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, whoa. The first time I heard you, I'm like, I don't like this. There's that's- a one to when I first heard Drake, I did it, I wasn't really feeling. What was the first Drake song you ever heard? Let me let me find that out from you. Replacement Girl. Uh, maybe that's a bad entry point. I like Replacement Girl, though. It's not a R&B. bad song. I, I, I was an R&B guy. But like... I didn't like when Drake was doing that rapidly rap shit at the beginning. Fam. Mm. I'm not going to cap with, with the man. It was, it, to me, it wasn't all that. I felt like when he really started to get into his bag of figuring out the whole singing, rapping shit, I, I started feeling it more. But um, I liked his, like, I, I can't complain. Like, he, when, he, when it's time to get busy, he gets busy, right? Yeah. But, um, yeah, Replacement Girl would be one of the first. But yeah, when the earlier rap shit, like when everybody went crazy over Ransom in them songs, I'm like, Okay, so you weren't on the um, comeback season <laughs> album like that. You know what I'm saying? Or, the T R O N T O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, did, that nah, was my wasn't. first, first. Like, besides hearing him freestyle on the road, that's the first time. Yeah, I've ever like, heard I've him. heard those. You know what I'm saying? But, like, hearing a song from him, it was that, that, bling, 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 bling. Yeah, it wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't like that shit. <sighs> and then, good, and then, goodbye, good riddance when he desecrated my boy. But when he did the, um, the one where he was just in the, in the jacket and post up. Yeah, the comeback season. Comeback album. season. <laughs> actually, I like that one. That one wasn't bad. That one wasn't bad. And then, That's some slaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one wasn't bad, actually. But it was, he, was, he was totally not in his comfort zone yet. <laughs> but, but yeah, when he did um, the one with Successful and all that shit, though. Yeah. That's when you were like, all right, all right. This guy's not playing around, bro. Yeah. yeah you, guys, yeah. you guys are, you guys are fucked. But yeah, 
Big up Kendrick, man. Um, yeah, super sidetracked. <laughs> yeah, no, not really, because we went into the, the Kendrick and who should be in the, the, the top three. But yeah, big up Kendrick. We'll see what this album does. I think uh, Academics reported, what, 350 possible sales? No, I heard higher than that, fam. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I heard something like four something. And that's the projection like from before the album dropped. I think it's going to do like 650. 350, yeah. Kendrick Lamar is on pace to sell 350. Personally. Really? Yeah. That's, and that that's was low. Today. That's today he posted that. That's low to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is pretty low. It, it's not... I shouldn't say that's pretty low. That's low for the big dogs. Let me say that. Because it's definitely not low in the sense of fucking... For, for the guys that are doing like 40 and 30 and 5k for the fucking week and shit like that. But uh, if you like this video or any other videos like this, there's more that you can choose from. Make sure you like, comment, and share these videos and make sure you subscribe right now.